starts here at Yankee Stadium. This is popped up and playable right side of the infield. The share. They call now. And Carnacion had bumped into Teixeira. And now they're going to call him out. Chris Conroy said you didn't give him a chance to feel the ball. Now John Gibbons is coming out of the dugout. The catch was made on the pop up by Teixeira. And Chris Conroy at first base. So does that mean both of them around? Is that what he's saying? That's what he's saying. He's arguing now that Encarnacion is out for interfering with Teixeira's ability to make play. Well, he obviously made the play. And obviously the collision was inadvertent as the pop-up went up. Teixeira backed into it. Yeah, Edwin has a right to the baseline unless he's making a play, but it looked like Teixeira ran into him. He gave him room to make the catch. So Teixeira caught the pop up from Navarro and then it kind of showed runs into Teixeira and there's Teixeira moving and it kind of showed stumbles behind Teixeira. He obviously never got distracted by where he dropped the ball. Now the umpires are going to converge. I don't know if both of them are out. I don't think they're both out. I think Inconnachon can be put back at first base. Now Jerry Mios is the crew chief. He's going to come in, and they're going to have a conference here. And Louis Rivera, the third base coach, is explaining the situation again to John Gibbons, the manager. Okay, now he has the right to field. The base runner has the right to the path, and then as he's fielding, he was away from him when he fielded. And once again, this is another reminder of how challenging the calls on the field are. And there's a lot of confusion in the dugout and the Blue Jays side of things. And now I bet they're going to put him back. Yeah. You can't penalize them both. And Conestone is sitting on the dugout bench. What they're going to do is they're going to put Navarro in first, call him out for obstruction, and the play is dead at the point of instruction and now Navarro is awarded first base. I still don't think this is right. Joe Girardi's not sure he's joined the yeah, conversation. He, he wants an explanation here. I don't know why they would switch the runners. You can say that it's interference when the contact is made. Call the play dead. The base runner is out and the batter runner is then awarded first base. But I don't think there's any way you could say both of them are out. But again, the baseball rules are as difficult as anything when you talk about these in that one right there. Unusual one, circumstances. That one is one that gets a lot of people. I think Louis Rivera is saying that Encarnacion should be the base runner. I, I think that's what he's saying. And, and that's a tough one. The, the runner is allowed the baseline, but he has to let the fielder field the ball. He's got to right. give him a chance to field the ball, which it looked like Edwin did. You can see him. He take a secondary lead. He's standing there. And now Teixeira runs into him. Edwin just trying to get out of the way. Does he give him a chance to field the ball? And you can see Teixeira just backed into Encarnacion. So Edwin is ruled out for interfering with the sheriff's ability to catch the ball, which is obviously the way it's ruled. Then the ball is dead, and Navarro is awarded first. Tell you what, you don't see that every no, day. No, no, you don't. 